Today we're going to be removing the front sight gas block from my AR-15. I'm going to be replacing it with one of these quad rail height gas blocks. With the removal of the A2 front sight gas block, there's three roll pins to remove. Here I have my, uh, my upper receiver broken down, hand guards taken off just to make this a lot easier. Alright, so I've gone ahead and got my roll pins started. I had soaked them in oil because uh, mine were a little hard to get out. So you're just going to get your roll pin on there. Alright, so we got the roll pins out. Now it's time to take the gas block off. Some of them can be a little stiff. Just work it back and forth, it'll, it'll come off. Alright, so here we have the front sight post, the uh, gas block off with the gas tube. I'm going to go ahead and remove the gas tube from the gas block. I'm going to take my new gas block and we're going to go ahead and slide the gas tube in. Note, there are two holes in the gas tube. The larger of the two only goes into the tube itself. It doesn't go all the way through. The little one on the end is for the roll pin to hold it securely in place. So the large hole that goes into the gas block straight down and as you're sliding it in you're going to want to line up the smaller hole for the roll pin and you can do that just by kind of looking down looking down into the the hole while you're and rotating the the gas tube while you're inserting it again while doing this you want to make sure that the large hole is facing downward and if you notice inside of your gas block there's a corresponding hole for the gases to escape from your barrel into the, the gas tube. Alright, so my new gas block came with uh, a new roll pin. So we're going to make sure that it's all lined up. And we're going to insert it into the gas block, the gas tube. And that looks good. Alright, so this particular gas block has two set screws in the bottom uh, instead of roll pins, so we won't be putting the two roll pins back in that we originally took out. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the end of the, the barrel here. Line it up on the uh, delta ring and feed it back into the receiver there. Make sure that everything looks lined up. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tension on these set screws here. Until we get a little bit further. Once again, make sure it's lined up. Okay, there we have it. 
At this point, we want to go ahead and put the bolt, the charging handle, and the bolt back in. Make sure that it cycles smoothly. It doesn't uh, the, the gas block doesn't interfere with the bolts at all. Everything engages smoothly. Shouldn't be any problems. At this point, I'll go ahead and uh, put some tension on these set screws. And there we go. The gas block is on. We can go ahead and reassemble the weapon.